Retain gang, what's poppin', man? It's your boy Tay, back at y'all again. Today, fellas, I'm gonna talk about, you know, staying at ease during these hard times. Keeping your body at ease. Staying in a stress-free mental state. You have a miniature universe inside of you. You know, you got the macro, which is the universe that we live in right now, but also inside you have a miniature universe, a micro universe. So what you have to understand is, is that everything that goes on in here is gonna reflect out here for your own reality. Um, this is why you wanna make sure that you're always keeping yourself balanced with your energy because the way you feel, it affects your, your miniature, your micro universe inside of you, right? And what I mean by micro universe is you have a microscopic universe inside of you. If you were able to shrink down to the size of your cells, it would look just like this. They wouldn't look like big blobs or whatnot, how you see them under a microscope. They would actually be living beings, probably walking around, eating and driving cars, you know, living life like we are. It's a miniature. Everything that you see out here is a reflection of inside. It's just that we live in a different dimension. So, you know, our, our eyes can't perceive something that small. So when we see them in microscopes, they look, our cells, they look like just floating blobs, but they're actually living things, intelligent, just like we are. Just like if you look up at the stars and the moon and the sun and you can see different planets sometimes those are living beings they're just so big that we perceive them as balls of light because our eyes can't conceive what they truly are you understand what i'm saying our, our eyes can only receive so much in this dimension in this physical form but those are actually living beings as well so you have that inside of you so what happens is, is when you're being stressed out and when you're playing out in these lower energies, your universe, all the living things in your universe inside of you are playing out that energy as well. This is why people develop dis-ease because you're at dis-ease. You know, being at ease is being gentle, is being relaxed, you know, just going through life easy, at ease. Dis-ease is the opposite. When you're dis-ease, you know, the balance, the structure is off. You know, it's chaos going on. That's what's happening inside of you, it's chaos. You know, if you're not putting the right foods in your body, if you're stressed out all the time, if you're not keeping your energy balanced, if you're not trying to, you know, um, stay in a high vibrational state, then you're gonna develop dis-ease. This is where diseases come from. They don't come from outside of you, they come from inside. It's an internal disorder. So all these things develop inside of you, inside your universe, and then it plays out into this reality. So you always wanna make sure that you're staying calm. You know, I have a grandmother, she's over 100 years old. She doesn't take any medication. She still looks young, she's still functional. And this is because, you know, she always told us to live stress-free, never stress out about anything, live gentle. You know, um, give back, be lovable. All these things keep your energy balanced so that you don't develop any type of illness, any type of dis-ease, right? Listen to the words that, that we use. Words, they have meaning. You know, if you break it down, dis-ease. You know, we say disease, but it's dis-ease. You're at a dis-ease. That's why they call it that, because it's internal. So that's, this is why they say stress kills. Stress does kill because over time you develop a chaos. It's chaos going on with all the living things inside of you. So just like out here, you see like crime, you'll see like just epidemics going on. Like right now what's going on. This is why you don't wanna play out those energies because that can affect what's going on inside of you. If you believe that there's a virus going around and that you can get sick, 
then you're giving that consciousness to all the living things in your body. So they're going to believe that, oh, it's a virus going around inside of you. And this is how you develop a virus. This is how you develop sickness. Right? Because you're the conscious thought of this universe. So whatever you think, it trickles down to the minds of your cells and all your organisms and all the things that live inside of you. All that mind state trickles down to them. So they believe it and you actually develop that. This is why I say your thoughts are powerful. Every cell in your body reacts to the thoughts you have. You feel what I'm saying? So we always want to make sure that we're staying stress free. Stress free. You know, um, make sure you're putting the right foods in your body. You know, because that's that's what you're giving your body information, information to sustain itself. You're giving information to all the living things inside of you and you're putting resources in your body. You know, so like just like we have resources here, we have gold and all these metals. We have oil. We have water. We have all these things that we use to sustain our life. That's what food is for. Food is resources. Food has those same vitamins and minerals and metals, you know, iron, magnesium, calcium, all those things. This is why you eat those things, because you're giving resources to your universe. Even when you're meditating, you're putting your universe at ease. When you're fasting, when you're fasting, you're purging out all the, the gunk out of your system, out of your universe. You're purging out all the, all the bad seeds inside of you. You have to be mindful of how you're living. Be mindful of what you're responsible for. You're responsible for this body and all the living things inside of it. This is why you want to take care of yourself because you're not, it's not just about you, it's bigger than you. You know, you have billions and billions of cells inside of you that you're taking care of that rely on you, that are counting on you to be that leader, to be that higher consciousness to, to direct them. You understand what I'm saying? So stay away from low energies. You know, try to keep your energy balanced. That way you're not living in dis-ease. That way you don't start developing sicknesses. You don't have to get sick. It's all internal. It's all about how you're feeling inside, okay? So, but hey man, it's your boy Tay. Let's make sure we're taking care of ourselves. Let's make sure that we're staying focused. And, um, you know, be lovable. Be a person who can spread love. Be a person who can balance out even through chaos. Okay? Have no fear. Have no doubts in yourself. Believe in yourself. Hey, man, y'all have a beautiful day. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.